So I found this awesome game called Archaic the Path of Light. Now this is essentially um, a reflecting mirrors light game. The best way to describe it, puzzle game. Um, I'm going to do a, a series on these. Um, there we go, you should be able to hear the sound now. So I'm going to be talking through the first episode, just so you can understand a little bit about the game. Because the tutorial is good, um, but it's a little weird. So let's go ahead and do the tutorial together. Okay, so this is going to give us um, a set of instructions to follow. Um, we're going to do ahead, go ahead and do that. So the idea is to get the light from the generating portal here to the gemstone, and that will allow the portal to work. Now this one, it's already done that for us, but this is going to show us how to change and rotate the device here. So, left mouse click, nice and simple. Right mouse click, simple so far. You can use the scroll wheel to do this as well. And you can also hold left click on the device and move it anywhere within the little up grids in the map here. Oh yeah, and swapping devices, so as if you're moving the device, if you can hold it on top of something else, we'll swap the two. Okay, so hold right mouse to look around the board. Pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, nice and easy. Or you can use the WASD keys. They're really slow for some reason, they move the camera really slowly. So I actually do prefer using the mouse for doing it somewhere quickly. And then this big button here centralizes the camera. Just like that. Okay. Now a cryptograph sorry, cryptoglyph um, is a hidden item in the scene, but this one quite clearly shows you what they should look like. So it's basically an old piece of tablet rock um, with some shiny glyphs on it. So click it, lights up. It tells you how many's left in the scene. And we already saw one over here. It's quite obviously when we went past it. And sometimes they're hidden pretty well. Um, I've done about three levels of the game just to test it out, and I've been struggling to find all of them. Let's put it that way. This one. There we go. Historiographer. Histo historiographer. Hidden objects. Learn the history of the ancients and secrets of the path of light by finding the cryptoglyphs. Now these are hints. So uh, basically the hints are powered by these white cells and you can get a certain amount of them in each level. So for example, one, the hint machine glows up. Two, no it's not asking me to get it yet. It actually wants me to use a hint to show you. So you click on it. And then you click where you think you might need to put the device. In this case, it's telling us to put it here. And it's saying, I should put that there instead, within this grid it's selected. Makes sense? Now unfortunately, for this level you can't get all these cells because it doesn't let you click them. Although it clearly says there are certain many to find. Let me just see if I can just trick it. Oh, okay. No, no, see look, it forces you to complete it without getting the cells, so you can't physically get all the collections on this level. So that's the tutorial level. Um, it's only a small level, so we will follow on from there and go to um, the next level. 